guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is an exciting one. I've got a new foundation to try. Um, I actually received this towards the end of last year, um, maybe end of November, and um, I meant to do a review video, but I thought that I would just wait till the new year. And it's a drugstore one, which is exciting. And it is the NYX Professional Makeup Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. So I guess it's always exciting when a new foundation comes out in the drugstore in the drugstore category that seems to be more on the inclusive side of things with a vast array of shades to match the um, majority of skin tones. So that's always exciting. Um, I got sent four foundations and I pulled up the NYX Cosmetics uh, website. This is the international website, the global one. It says here that there are 45 shades in this foundation. And I'm going to read the description or how NYX describes this foundation. It's lightweight, waterproof and pigmented AF. <laughs> Our new can't stop, won't stop, full coverage foundation hustles as hard as you do. This comfy liquid formula comes in 45 flattering tones that don't transfer. Every creamy shade glides on smooth, delivering matte coverage and color that stays true for up to 24 hours. Our little overachiever also works to control shine and mattify your complexion all day long, but it doesn't stop there. This foundation is non-comedogenic and is suitable for normal oily combination and sensitive skin types. So it's pretty much claiming a lot. Okay, so these are the shades I received um, from NYX, the um, four shades, and these are obviously of the darker spectrum of the foundation shade range. So coming in a little bit closer, I'm going to swatch these shades on my face, I'm going from the lightest to the darkest. So the lightest shade I have here is called Warm Caramel. So that's the lightest shade I have and it's called Warm Caramel. Next up I have the shade called Deep Sable. That looks like it might be my shade um, but it is running a little bit cool. So I'm not going to make a decision just yet. The next shade I have is called Cocoa. And the last shade I have is called Deep Espresso. So these are the four shades I have just swatched. Seeing them on my face, it definitely looks like there is quite a few jumps in between the shades. In, in between the shades. Because I just got sent four, I don't know if there are any shades in between these. Um, I hope they are because the jump from Cocoa to Deep Espresso is pretty huge. And um, for the first two, these undertones to me seem vastly different. Um, but yeah, seeing Deep Sable on my skin now seems to be turning a little bit green. <laughs> um, but that could, uh, so I don't know why that is. Um, I like the fact that Cocoa is more on the warm side. So if I was allowed to, I would mix uh, Cocoa and Deep Sable together. Um, but I like the warmness of Cocoa, but it seems that it will be a bit dark for me. So I'm going to start my face now. And I'm going to use Deep Sable because it's the one that's closest to my complexion. Okay, to get started, I'm going to spritz my face with my Smashbox Primer Water. When it takes too long to settle in, I just give myself a little face rub so it can absorb nicely. There is a Can't Stop, Won't Stop Primer and it's a mattifying primer. So I'm going to open this up. It says that it is a mattifying primer. It's comfortable and it preps your complexion for a super smooth foundation application. Use evenly over skin and gently tap to set. I'm just gonna apply this primer 
along my T-zone because that's where I get shiny first. The product is so, it's like so, so hard to come out. So here I go in with Deep Sable. I'm worried about the undertone of this because it does look a bit green. Is full coverage. All right, so that's one half of my face. It is very full. It is full coverage. That is not a lie. It is mattifying immediately upon application. I am matte. Um, could be also because of the primer as well, but I only applied the primer like around here and the shade seems to be okay We're gonna see if it oxidizes Very very full coverage you guys. This will be a very nice winter foundation So here we have the foundation applied all over the face. It's a very smooth foundation. I'm still undecided on the shade. I don't know if it's me, if it's a reflection of my kimono. Maybe I should take it off and see. That's making me think it's a little green. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. So when it comes to foundation being transfer proof, I sort of feel two ways about it because it's like, I'm never gonna wear a foundation just on its own like this. I'm never, I'm never gonna leave the house like this. So your face stops being transfer resistant when you start to apply other things on there that aren't necessarily transfer proof. Um, but to test it out, I'm gonna just tap my hand on my face to see if it does move. Okay, so a little bit came off on my hand, but my face is still perfect. I suppose it doesn't move around a lot. But the idea that something of something being transfer proof for me, I don't know, it's weird because I'm like, anything you put on your face that's not your face, that's not your own skin, it's gonna come off. Like, I don't know. So, anyway, let's get on with the rest of my face. Okay guys, so this is my finished makeup look of the day um, with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation. Through the time I've had to sort of apply the rest of my face and see if this foundation oxidizes, if it stays put and stuff. Everything else that followed, my concealer, my contour, my powders, all went on seamlessly and without any issue at all. Um, I'm happy with the foundation for now. I've decided that I will do time checks with you guys, so maybe one or two. The time now is 12.45. I'll check up with you guys maybe once or twice during the day. Um, I've got work to do. I want to go get a cup of coffee and um, some lunch. And then we'll see how this foundation works out. It is a particularly warm day in Cape Town today. So I'm already starting to heat up. But probably because I've been straightening my hair. I will catch up with you guys later. Hey guys. So I'm back for my first checkup. The time now is 25 to 3. And I have comments already. <laughs> obviously as you can tell my makeup has not moved. It's pretty much perfect. Um, obviously... It's not a vigorous day for me today. Um, I got some food. I just had. I've just finished lunch now, so my lipstick is off. So the main comment I can make about this foundation right now is that it is very mattifying. So if you don't moisturize your skin, if you don't prep your skin properly um, before application, you're gonna struggle, especially if you're dry skinned or even combination skinned like me so I have been struggling with tightness um, for the last since I stopped forming basically 
and um, which is a feeling I, I get as well if I don't adequately moisturize with my Lauder Double Wear. I had done my normal skincare routine in the morning. I spritzed my face with my primer water, and then I went on with the um, the mattifying primer. My tightness and dryness is really around like my mouth area and my like yeah just like this area going down to my mouth so i've had my bottle of fix plus with me the whole day it hasn't left my side because i keep needing to spritz and that's what happens when i also use double wear and i haven't done and i haven't prepped properly i always have to spritz my face with some sort of facial spray so um everything still looks good separation is still good obviously i've eaten so i've been opening my mouth and chewing and uh, i've been on the phone as well so the area around my mouth still seems perfect the foundation to me just looks it looks good there's nothing wrong oh sorry there's nothing wrong with it it hasn't oxidized it's still the same hue still the same tone as before and um looking at it now i can say that the foundation shade is actually okay for me um i guess the um the concealer that i use my bronzer my contouring will essentially also just tone it all and bring it together as well so that's also what helps i mean no one leaves a house with just foundation on anyway so yeah that's the update i can give for you right now i will check up with you guys at around five o'clock and then that's when i'll end it so that i can start editing this video hey guys so i'm back for my final check-in the time now is 5 p.m well it's five to five <laughs> and i'm ready to actually just close up for the day and get cooking so i want to end this video here my sentiments still remain the same from my first chicken was that um the foundation has performed really well i have nothing bad to say about it it has really performed well um just the comment obviously on making sure that you have adequately prepped your skin prior to application because if you are on the market for a mattifying foundation and you need a really mattifying foundation this is it but come to think of it it seems like nyx knows how to do these matte foundations because the total control drop is another foundation that is super matte and it's already and it's a really good foundation so i think they I think they know what they're doing when it comes to mattifying foundations and sort of like oil control now um speaking of oil control i have had shine so i have shine i haven't blotted i haven't done any of that i don't blot anyway um i do powder but as you can see i have a little bit of shine coming through um around here and my forehead and my chin now um i used their mattifying primer but i feel like it doesn't matter how mattifying something is if your skin feels like it's really parched and dry and tight that's when an overproduction of oil tends to happen is that now your skin is in panic mode thinking it's too dry it's too tight so i need to produce more so i feel like having these mattifying products counteract in the long run what you were trying to prevent in the first place so my skin has produced oil um along here where it normally would which is my t-zone and that is where i also put the primer so i don't know once again i'm someone who doesn't use primers all the time i don't know if i'm a huge believer in primers anyway i believe in moisturizing and prepping the skin with good skincare and then spf and then getting right into foundation at the most for primer i used i used a, a fixing spray or a priming spray but my moisturizer has to do the job and i don't really look to primers to making sure my base is flawless or whatever the case may be as i am sitting here now i'm gonna spritz my face one more time with some primer water because it just feels so tight and so dry remember that i'm someone who has dehydrated skin so um keep that in mind when taking what i'm saying to you well yeah anyway guys that's it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week bye Maybe you're in
Australia, maybe even on the coast, disguised in regalia, and making the most of the most.